the Tomorrow People episode 13, Things Fall Apart. Uh, this episode, you know, once again, we get the founder who, personally, I think he's a really good villain, you know, character. He's very, he's very stoic, but he's also insanely powerful. He's, you know, he's obviously a Tomorrow person, but he works, you know, for Ultra, so he has all the, you know, blocking gadgets, you know, the TK blockers and things like that. He has that at his disposal, and he's one of the, you know, best telepaths in the show, especially since he has the weird you know, pod thing in his neck, but, you know, in this episode, he comes in, and, you know, after what happened with Astrid, Steven decides, you know, I'm gonna quit Ultra, because, you know, you aren't, you know, his uncle, Jedekiah, wouldn't wipe Astrid from the system, so, you know, Steven's kind of fed up, and he quits, and, you know, after he quits, the founder comes to him and says, you know, I need you to get this breakout who's, you know, incredibly powerful, who, you know, since you have a knack for doing things other people can't, I want you to do it, and the reason I'm asking you to do it and the reason it's so important is because she's my daughter. And, you know, through this episode, we get a couple of cool points. Uh, one of the coolest things to me is the fact that, you know, they kind of added in another dimension to the Tomorrow People. And, you know, everyone has the three T's where it's, you know, time, well, time stopping is, I guess, technically the fourth one. But, you know, telekinesis, telepathy, and teleportation. And... For people who have parents that are both tomorrow people, they're considered synergists and they have, you know, they can kind of combine the powers. And what happens in this episode is that the founder's daughter is able to, you know, teleport things away without being able to touch them. Like she teleports the cars away and she like teleports all the bullets out of the handguns from the cops in the beginning of the episode. And I just thought, you know, that was an amazing thing to see. Like, you know, she snaps her fingers and the cars disappear. And you know, she doesn't even have to move, and she has all the bullets in her hands from all the guns, and it's just an amazing thing, you know, she's incredibly powerful, and it shows, you know, like, people can be strong and just, you know, advance their powers, but some people can just be born insanely strong if, you know, they kind of just inherit powers from, you know, two parents who have powers, so it was cool to have that aspect, and I feel like it'll add to the show, which it obviously did, because, you know, at the end of this episode, we finally get to see that, you know, Steven's mother is a tomorrow person. And I knew it. I was like, it just made sense to me. It was like, it makes perfect sense. She has powers. You know, they talked about the synergists in the beginning of the episode. Now we know that he's one as well. And that explains why he's one of the most powerful people in the show. It's not just that his father was insanely powerful, but, you know, he's also a synergist. So he kind of inherited his father's, you know, insane strength and stuff and you know he has the ability to stop time but he also has powers from his mother so it just boosts that even more so it explains why he's so incredibly strong compared to you know other characters and why he can for one stop time and to why he's able to you know do that type of stuff inside of ultra and during you know extreme situations so it was cool to get that at the end and i knew it i was just like you know finally we figure out what her secret was and it's that she has powers because i knew it was something just you know from the first episode i could tell it was like something is going on with her and it was just driving me nuts it was like what is her secret like either she knows his father isn't really dead or she knows how he died or something like that or she knows you know i figured she had to have known at least something about the tomorrow people and it was mostly through some of the different episodes but you know, she is one, and, you know, that's going to be great to see how that plays out throughout the rest of the series, but, um, with the revelation that she does have powers, um, we find out that, you know, Luca doesn't have powers, or maybe he does, and he doesn't even, you know, that's not really what he was trying to talk about with Stephen, and, you know, we find out, you know, he's smoking weed, like, no big deal, or, it's a big deal, don't do that, but, <laughs> you know, he doesn't have powers, or at least, you know, that's how they played it in this episode, but I still personally feel like he does have powers. I mean, especially with the fourth thing, how they played it. I think he has powers and he doesn't actually realize it yet. So, you know, and it kind of stands to reason, you know, when they were on the camping trip, when the camera didn't fall, I still believe that was Luca. If it wasn't, you know, the guy, which I feel like they wrapped that up. So either it was the guy and he was acting like he didn't have powers or it was Luca and he still doesn't actually realize that he has powers. So, 
hopefully it is Luca, and I feel like it will be, especially now that we find out officially that you know Steven's mother has powers. So you know it just makes sense that both of them would get powers. And it would be weird if you know one of them didn't, especially with two parents that have powers. But it could be possible. But I'm pretty sure Luca has powers, and you know even he doesn't actually realize it yet. So for now, they've kind of played it on the comedy route where you know it sort of downplays it and makes it seem like he doesn't have powers but I personally think he still does so we'll have to wait and see and I could easily be wrong but I hope I'm not because I think it would be cool to have all three of them have powers and then you know Steven kind of teaches his younger brother how to control his abilities and his mother would too now that you know Steven knows so she of course wouldn't hide it from Luca but excited to see how that plays out also curious to see just how things play out with um, Astrid's father because of course for Astrid it wouldn't be too big of a deal because she knows Stephen has powers and she'd be shocked by his mother having powers but it wouldn't be like this huge revelation for her but for her father it would be a pretty insane deal unless you know his mother's so incredibly powerful that she can you know wipe people's memories or something I don't know but definitely curious to see where that goes you know for next well I guess it's not next week but it comes back February 25th so I'm excited to see, you know, where that storyline goes for that. But I'm also excited to see exactly what the founder has in store for his own daughter. Because for some insane reason, he has implanted fake memories into her brain thing, you know, to make her think she went to different schools and stuff like that when he was really just doing experiments on her. So, you know, who knows what crazy plan he has in store. And he is, you know, that top guy so far who... It's just, you know, he's the top bad guy right now. He's called the founder, and obviously he's just, you know, one of three people, I believe, they mentioned in a previous episode. But, you know, he's one of the people that, like, co-founded Ultra. And I'm curious to see what he has in store for his own daughter. Why would he, you know, implant fake memories in his daughter? You know, what did he do that, you know, you know what what is he planning to do with her that he needs to create fake memories so I'm really curious to see where that storyline goes for sure and if maybe he's going to try to change Ultra and kind of you know get rid of humans but at the same time I don't see you know why he would suddenly you know turn around but who knows what he's planning or you know fake memories inside his own daughter if it even is his daughter I mean I like to think it really is and he's just you know crappy dad and you know that was she was just a great guinea pig because, you know, his wife or girlfriend or whoever had powers and he knew, you know, my daughter's going to have, you know, an, an incredible amount of strength when she finally develops her abilities. And I want to be able to control that for myself or, you know, use her as a weapon or something. I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see how that plays out, too. But definitely love this episode. You know, it was a nice little ending. You know, Stephen, you know, he kind of it was sort of good, but sort of bad at the same time because Stephen... Um, was able to get, the, you know, the founder's daughter to him thanks to John, and you know it seems simple. You know, Ashley was able to go home. She was gonna have you know lunch with her dad and stuff, and they were just you know gonna meet up and eat. And then you know John gets kicked out because you know he and Car have a sort of battle, you know, power battle, because you know Car is in charge and she doesn't want John, you know, the former leader, going against the rules because if he does, then how you know how can everyone else respect her rules so John's been kicked out so I'm curious to see where that goes too but you know he's been kicked out Steven finds out his mother has powers like I said Astrid it would be hard you know it's hard I wouldn't I don't know how they could possibly write out the fact that Astrid and her father find out that you know Steven's mom has powers but if they do it better be really good but I hope they don't and they just kind of you know find a way to work around that but Comment below, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Favorite parts, least favorite parts. And, you know, with the revelation that Steven's mom has powers, how do you guys think that's going to affect, you know, the rest of this season and the rest of the series as a whole? Do you guys think the whole um, synergist thing is going to come up, you know, for Steven? Because I feel like it has to at this point. And also, do you guys think, just, you know, on a side note, do you guys think Luca really does have powers or not? Comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.